Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining. So before we get stuck into our pour, I just wanted to show you the dried results from my previous video. So this was me trying to get some pearls with um, the products that I have on hand. So we're gonna do this again today on a round. So let's get started. I'll go over what I'm using. So it's pretty, actually pretty basic. Um, I'm just using my house paint that I use for my pillow in the bloom technique, and I'm using my cell activators that I use in the bloom technique. So this is, um, this is carbon black by Golden and Australian Flood Flow Troll. It's a little, a little thick, so I'll probably thin it down a little. And then this is bronze by Golden with the Australian Flood Flow Troll. So I would, if I don't if use all this paint, I'll use it as a cell activator in my bloom technique. This is the Australian Flood Flow Troll. So it's, I, I would say one part paint to three to four parts flow troll. So this one felt a little thick, so I'm just gonna add a small bit more flow troll. Now I wouldn't add water to this to thin it down. Okay, and then I'll show you my base that I'm gonna be putting down. Again, this is the pillow paint that I would use for my blooms. So this is a, um, I get this from Home Base, and actually let me just grab the bucket and I'll show you what it looks like. Wait, this is the big one, so bear with me. So it's, it's here, this is the Home Base Pure Brilliant White Silk for walls and ceilings. Add anything to that besides water if it's too thick out of the container and I thin it down with water it really kind of just depends on the weather outside to be honest but so this is what we're working with today just those ingredients okay let's get started so I'm first and I'm just experimenting so <laughs> bear with me so you're gonna put some of that down, put that out of the way. Use my PSR pour scrape repeat spreader. So I'm not gonna spread this all the way over because I am gonna tilt once I get my the black and the bronze down. Okay, just rub that off. So there we go. A link where you guys can get those. So I'm just totally kind of winging this. So I'm gonna start with some of the black. And this is probably gonna sink most of this. Okay. And now I'm just gonna tilt this around. So my colors are a lot thinner than the house paint that I have down. And I'm liking the thick base because I feel like um, your pearl cells kind of, um, they just, they don't melt. They kind of stay structured and whatnot. So what I'm probably gonna do, let's just keep tilting this. You're just moving it around until you find a composition that you're happy with, if you can get one. Okay, and then let's go this way. I'm gonna try not to go off the edge with the color. I'm just gonna try and get that base paint over. I'm 
you can see stuff happening here. So we're gonna go back this way. Oh, I'm actually kind of liking, it's very, yes, okay. And I'm not gonna go over the color, I'm not gonna go take the color over the edge on this either. I just wanna get some of this paint off and then we'll pull back. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of mess with it. The fun part. Okay, that's pretty cool. I see that, okay. I might bring it in a little bit more. Okay, so I have tried this with a thinner I added more water to the house paint and it worked. My cell structure kind of, it got more like, um, kind of cloudy like, and the cells kind of, they didn't, they weren't so round and they didn't really stay that well. They did, I mean, it was still a really cool effect. And then a lot of the color would sink into the thinner base, which I got a really cool um, pour out of, but so I'm just gonna kind of experiment with consistencies but my favorite right now is and you'll see stuff start to happen as we're sitting here um i'm digging the thick base paint for this so i'm going to start messing and hopefully i don't mess this up because this is actually kind of cool the way it is let's see all right i'm gonna take my mini psr swiper i'm going to Start with some of the black, or actually I'll probably do like a, okay, so let's do, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna put some of this cop, no, yeah. I'm gonna put some of this, not copper, um, bronze down on my little swiper just at the edge here. And then some of the black on top of that. Hopefully you guys can see that in the frame. Okay. Kind of spread it around and then just have at it, I guess, and hopefully I don't mess it up. Like I said, this is all kind of new to me. And then you're gonna get some cells and all that stuff. Okay. And just dip it in the bronze. Let me come over here and pull some of this out. There we go. And then I'll come in with a finer um, spatula and kind of drag stuff out as I see, as I think I need, if I need it. What I like about these is it gives one, it's done growing and developing and doing its thing, it gives a lot of like depth in your painting. So really like lots of 3D kind of looking cells. So I got some like squared pearls. Okay, I'll just go with it. And this is cool. I'll bring you in for a close up because I really want you to see this up close. That's neat. And then we'll go, what else would we do? I don't want to do too much to it because I kind of like the minimalist kind of look and all the negative space, but I do want to get a cool little, or some cool little um, effects kind of here and there. So your eye has something to kind of wander, uh, wander around and have a look at. I'm probably gonna drag this bronze through here. And that's cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay. Let me just pull, give this a little point. And I want that to be white right there. And I'll take my finger in it and just kind of dip my finger on it to get that 
looking a little okay let's work on this Oh yeah, that's cool. I like it. I'm happy. You guys are probably like, what is that? <laughs> but I think it's cool. So I'm just gonna go with it. Um, I don't want to do too much, like I said, because I really like how it's very minimalist. And as you're, when you're doing like the swipe, like going through, you're gonna eventually, you'll see as it develops, get some cool little pearl cells in there. Um, I'm half tempted to kind of tilt it back and forth a little to kind of open things up. But for this piece, I'm really liking the way it is looking. So I'm not going to tilt it. So maybe the next one I do, I will, oh, I love this, this is cool. I will, um, even if I, well, we'll see, because if I like it, I might not tilt it. But I wanna see kind of what would happen if I tilted it more. I'm guessing I get more of these like island pearl cells popping up around, you know, all in the colored area here. And I probably get a lot more of those as I'm stretching it out. But at, as of right now, I don't want that. I'm totally digging this. I love this little section here. So I'm not going to tilt, but I will definitely try out some tilting at some stage. I'm just going to dip this into my bronze and try and pull some more bronze through. Here, maybe. This is cool. Um, Let's see. I'm gonna try and get some more bronze coming up through here. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. So let me dip here and kind of swipe over. Okay, not happy with that little section there. So I'm just gonna try and take that out. Now this is inspired by a lot of artists that are doing these. I haven't been able to get my hands on some of the ingredients that they use. So I'm just kind of doing my own little Trying to see if I can get some of the kind of same effects with the pearls and all that um, using the products that I do have. And so far I'm happy with it, so we'll see. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to mess too much because I'm really liking it. But it's tempting to keep going and it's fun. So maybe I should just get another board and do another one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's. Maybe pull out a little here. So I'm gonna dip that again in the the bronze. What is that actually called? Bron iridescent bronze by gold. And I'm just gonna pull through. And I have to get some new palette knives. Just going really light so I could pull that bronze through. I don't know how I feel about that one. So let's get some black in there and really kind of just swipe. And if I'm not happy with it still, I might just get rid of that little section. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna get some of this effect over here to kind of balance it. So let me get my little mini swiper. And then I'm gonna go like this. So I'm going to, what did I put down first? Let me put down the bronze first. Let's put down the black first on this. 
and then the bronze a little bit. That's probably a lot, but I'm just gonna dip, pour some off. Okay, and then we're just gonna pull through. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay, so we have a little bit of this um, matching up with this, so that's cool. And I always just scrape that off on the painter sheet. Yeah, so what I pour on um, the painter sheet, I just get a roll of the painter's sheet. And this is handy for me because I paint a lot. So it just gets messy and then I switch out. I usually do like one big layer on my table and then cut smaller ones. So if I'm doing multiple boards, let's check that out. So it's totally matching up there. I might pull a little out here and then I think I'm gonna be done. But yeah, so I'll cut up like a smaller one, put it there and then I'll pour until it gets way too messy. And if I'm gonna do another pour, I'll just pull that one up and then lay another one down. So it's handy for me because I paint a lot. So yeah, if anybody cares. So I'm gonna leave that there. I love it so far. See, I'm, as I say, I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna go back in anyway. I just get a little, I want those to turn into little cells. This part is so cool. Okay, so definitely, oh, should I stop? You guys, tell me. I should just start doing lives and then I can just say, should I stop? And then you guys can tell me yes or no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stop. I don't wanna get too, I don't want it to get too busy and messy. So, <coughs> I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. So you can check it out. Actually, I wanna see what it looks like sitting different ways. That's neat, but I kinda like it so, like this. So, right, I'll bring you guys in for a close up. Whew, exciting. It's fun to do something different than what I normally do. That, I like it this way. So, we'll see. I wanted to bring you right up in there. I love that. How they kind of fork out. It's cool. And it should stop developing probably in the next 10 minutes. So I'll probably just sit the camera up there and do a little time lapse in case it actually changes a lot more but i think it's pretty much going to look like this when it dries anyway let me know what you guys think i will leave a link in the description below where you can get our new psr swipers and we have lots of other tools spinners will be restocked mid, ne mid next week i'm getting a lot of inquiries about that but i will um talk to you guys soon let me know what you think please should you guys want to see more of these more colorful ones should i stop <laughs> should i just go back to my blooms just let me know